I've been struggling to solve this rattle in my door for like two and a half years. Started on the other side and then I got some work done on my car and that got fixed and then now this passenger side has been rattling and it's been driving me crazy. So I'm going to bust open the door once and for all and find out what's going on. These are the tools I used and this is how I started out. These are on the very edge of the door. There's two of them. You just need a real fine screwdriver to pop out. Next, I popped, popped off this little chrome plastic cover. It takes getting underneath it too with something and then popping it off. Then I moved to the little cover down in, a little further down in the door. I used the same little screwdriver. Here it bends down and then it folds out. Bolts are out, screws are out. Now I'm going to lift from the bottom and start popping it away and then lift it up and out. You gotta get behind this thing. off one of these. I'll be able to get that back on. Easy. So now we've got it. Check that out. One more Allen holding it in. If you have one come out, it's easy. This thing just goes back and it's very flexible and then you slide it in. So pretty, pretty easy. It's all disconnected except for right here. And let's see. It looks like this has to go down. You might need a screwdriver to push that out of the way. And then I think that thing has to be moved out of the way too. Pull that out. Then I'm going to pop this green thing off of that and take that out. You can see how it mounts into this groove and then into the holes. Looks like we also tore the fabric a little bit. Other than that, a couple little holes that are holding it in, and then these. It looks like we've got some things that go around there. I'll keep track of those. Those foam things just go right on these. There's the one that I was missing. To get into this stuff is to run a razor blade along the edge that's sticky to get into it. I want to keep this intact as much as possible. And I think mostly where I'm going to be working is over here in this area. So I think I'll cut around there and see if that works. Okay, so here's what I've got. It's been unpeeled. I'm just going to wrap it around and use its own sticky stuff to kind of hold it out of the way. So i do my dinking around. Now, I want to do a little exploration, but right off the bat I found that that bolt had come off. Now I experienced this rattling, this similar kind of rattling on that side, and we got some body work done when I got hit, and put that all back together was gone and so I thought oh they must have upgraded or something like that but I think what happened is they put the bolt back on so that may be all I need to do to fix this rattle but I want to get back in there and look at those a lot of those parts back there 10 meter 10 millimeter bolt I'm just going to finger tighten it on and then I'm going to go about that tight with the other ones I think it's this plastic bracket that gives people problems but it looks like mine's intact it looks, I, I think that plastic on either side can become brittle and crack and allow the window to slide out of place and this to not function. Mine functions fine. So I'm thinking it really was just that this bolt had rattled loose and needed to be tightened. Now, I don't hear anything else that seems out of order. So I'm going to put it back together. 
Okay, so now before I put anything back, I've ensured this is back adhered the way it was originally. Most of this job now becomes lining stuff up. All of these little tabs um, can shift a little bit. Before you put your tabs in, I'm roughly lining them up at the bottom, you've got to put this back together here. The tab has got to be flipped so that you can make it do its thing. This part has to snap back in here. But let's get the brass piece in and snapped before we do that. Putting it back together is harder. We got to remember we got to get this part in first. It is these that are going to sit in the groove. So we've got to go over that with this. So I'm feeling for that ridge underneath. I'm going to get it over the top. Should feel it drop in there. That's it. Looks like you can see those holes lining up, which should give you some hope that you're in a right, right place. I also put in that, and I can see the two little pop doohickeys over here, so I pop them in as well. They seem to be kind of naturally lining up. We'll see how that works down underneath here. You can see the little yellow thing. That's what we're hoping will just fall right into place. Okay, let's see. There we go. I think that's it. Okay, I've got both the uh, screws in along the edge. Now I'm going to get these Allen bolts in right here. You can roughly see how. This is supposed to pop in. Pretty simple. I'm going to slide it on and then line it up and then kind of gently put it back into place. And that's that. Don't want to forget these little doohickeys, which just pop right in. And then the cover for that, which has, it's going to have to kind of in and then what's that? She's back together. No more rattle. Woohoo!